Hello there, in this video we're looking at the Beaver Builder theme and how we can combine text with an icon for our mobile menu drop downs. Now the Beaver Builder theme comes with a couple of options which are in the customizer and I've opened that up so we're going to have a look. We go into the header and we go into nav layout and here are our two options. We have a menu button or we have the hamburger icon and I've set both up so I can just quickly show you then. Here is the menu button, uh, pretty obvious what that does. And here is the hamburger icon. Now I love the hamburger icon, I think it's cool, it doesn't take up much space, but it has one slight problem. There is still folks who don't quite get uh, what it does. I mean, it's fairly ubiquitous these days and I don't think that'll last for much longer. I'm looking over at my Chrome browser and can see one here already, but there are still folks who, who, who don't understand what that does. So I thought adding a bit of text would make that handy and I can still have the, the coolness of the hamburger icon. And all I needed to do was to find a little bit of a snippet, which I found over at the Beaver Builder knowledge base. So if we went over to wpbeaverbuilder.com knowledge base, and we need to go into their theme developer and into their theme filter reference and about halfway down here there's a snippet here for the toggle text uh, what I can see that does already it just uh, returns main menu uh, what's they've written here so we can change that and let me show you my snippet and what I've done so I can explain that it's just a, a modification on this one so I'm in my root directory here so I'll just go in and find my theme files so we are making a modification so we need to do that in our theme uh, child theme rather and uh, we already have a functions PHP set up in there so we can modify that and to speed things up as usual I've already put it in here so I just need to talk you through what's happening here and this is below the video so you're able to just cut and paste this from here to here into your own functions file and you'll need a little bit of CSS which I'll come on to next but first here's the functions that we have all around that we don't need to know about this what I changed here is that I added a little bit of style here to make sure that the the text which I've called menu here is small at 10 pixels uh, you could change that if you wanted but I thought 10 pixels was still enough to just make out that it's menu uh, but not to take away from the look so I've added that and then I've added a little break here so it makes sure that the icon that I've put in here uh, is falling just below the text here. Now to tell you about this icon I better just pop over to the browser and say that this came from over here at the Font Awesome uh, library and I've already gone into there we just copied and pasted this but if you're not aware um, the Beaver Builder theme already loads Font Awesome by default anyway so when you copy and paste any of these kind of snippets into an area where you can paste them in it's going to display the icon and that's what we did in this case so okay so that's the PHP uh, end of things taken care of that's functions and we just need to quickly take a look and you saw it in the beginning actually is the CS that I was just playing around with here you may have to modify this again this is below um, and uh, what I've done here is you don't need to use the color here but should you so wish you can actually with this snippet change the color of your uh, icon and text over here and uh, I just needed to budge this up because of the text coming in here I needed to budge it up so I position to make sure that a top of minus six pixels showed I took off some of the line height which is set in the theme so that's the distance between each line on here and it's set in the theme so just to make sure that there wasn't a big distance between the text and the icon itself I set that over here at uh, 0.9 and I put the font size which is in this case only affecting the icon this is called the font size in this case because if you remember in the PHP I've already set it at 10 pixels this uh, and that's going to overwrite anything I do here okay so uh, I think that probably pretty much covers all that you need to know you perhaps the one thing I should cover if when I you grab the CSS snippet you just need to make sure that you uh, well there's a few places you can go but perhaps the most logical place if you're not used to this is to go into the customizer and go and put it into the code section so let me just quickly do that. Uh, it's taking a bit of time to uh, load. Okay, always my slow connection here. So we go into code and we go into CSS code and 
I've already got it on a text file so I just paste this in and save it and the job will be done okay I think that covers it if you've got any questions please ask me I hope that was useful and thanks very much for listening uh, talk to you again soon bye